Hi folks, Bill Schaefer here from the Cisco Consumer Products Training Team with another installment of our video training series on the Flip Video Camera. You know the Flipshare application gives you a great starting tool for making your own movies, but some users, however, may want more powerful editing tools such as the ability to edit or trim out parts of their video footage, or they need different types of transitions between their clips, or even different styles for the titles or the credits at the end. So let's take a look at how easy it is to import your video into Apple's iMovie 09, and then edit and share your final production. First, connect your Flip video camera to your Mac's USB port. Close the FlipShare program and any other programs that may launch before you continue. Now, let's go ahead and launch iMovie 09. Let's begin by creating a new project. Then we'll import all of our video clips so that we can go to work. Choose File, New Project, and then let's create a name for our project. We're not going to use a background theme, so let's just go ahead and click the Create button. Now, on the iMovie toolbar, let's go ahead and click the Open Camera Import Window button. Notice that your flip camcorder is automatically detected, and that the new window that's about to display shows all of its video clips. Click the Import All button. And then we're going to choose whether or not we want to import the video clips as full size or large size. We're going to go ahead and select the full size option. Then click OK. Now enter a name for the event you were filming and then click Import. When the import process is complete, go ahead and click OK to confirm the import of your video clips. Once the video clips are imported, click Done. Notice that all three of your movie clips appear as separate film strip events in the Events window. Right-click on the first event and select Select Entire Clip. Now, drag the clip into the project timeline. Repeat the process until all of your video clips are in the correct order. If the clips are not in the correct order, simply select the clip, then drag it to the correct location in the project. On the iMovie toolbar, click the Titles button. Now, scroll through the various title styles, then drag and drop the one that you want into the very beginning of the project timeline. Select a background color or pattern, then enter the title of your video production. By the way, you can use the same process and drag a title to the end of your movie so that you can provide credits, too. Click Done when you're finished. Click the Music and Sound Effects Browser button. Locate a sound clip from the iLife library or from your own personal iTunes library. Then drag and drop it into the project timeline. Click the Transitions Browser button. Now locate a special effect you want to use between video clips. Drag and drop the transition between the first and the second clip. Repeat the process to add a transition between the second and third clip.
Now that your editing is done, it's time to think about how you're going to save your movie for sharing. Notice under the Share menu that you've got the option to export your video directly to YouTube. iMovie 09 gives you twice as many video size options as previous versions of iMovie. All that's required is your YouTube login information and you're ready to go. One of the benefits of sharing a project to iTunes is so that you can also enjoy your video clip from your color screen iPod or iPhone. If you have an Apple TV, you can share your iTunes library on the home network and enjoy the video on the big screen too. The possibilities are endless. So let's go to the Share menu and select the iTunes option. Selecting the iTunes option automatically finalizes your project, then copies it directly to your iTunes library folder. For this example, we're going to select the mobile option. Let's go ahead and select Mobile and then click Publish. To watch your new movie, simply launch iTunes. Once iTunes launches, select your movies library, then double click on your movie. Yuki, what are you doing? Somewhere. There you have it folks, hopefully this gives you a taste for what can be done with other video editing tools and your flip video camera. Take care and happy movie making, bye bye.